So I think there's a, a couple of factors here. I think obviously you, uh, you need to know uh, your reasons behind that and therefore you yeah, looking for um, the right place to go and uh, work on that new research topic and think about what you can bring, um, what you can bring with your skills that you already have to that research topic. I think as a person in the lab, it's really important to always have a couple small projects sort of cooking in the background so that if you have to switch, uh, you can do so immediately. And to come up with these ideas is, I think you need to think about what will be the question for the future rather than really trying to focus on what is hot today and reading and keeping up with the literature and trying to really focus on what are the unanswered questions in my field is a very good way to start doing that. It's important to uh, uh, try to uh, interact with more people as possible, like a classmate or a PhD from other lab, or even friend that working on different topics. Uh, the important thing is to get inspired by uh, other people and other jobs. And also, uh, based on the failure of, of your previous project, maybe they can give you some hint or some clue or uh, which area maybe you are interested in more or sometimes also reading paper for your own project. Maybe you can get some idea or uh, some, some topics that maybe can be worth it, uh, develop or, or working on to, to switch to new topics and a new uh, research project. So when you're switching um, um, careers, careers change, uh, like moving from different institutions or you're moving from postdoc to faculty position, that's a naturally good opportunity to think about what you're really interested in doing and switching to a new project um, if you don't want to continue what you were working on. And um, it's sometimes people are afraid to do that because of the worry about not having a track record. Um, but um, on the long term, um, you know, it's actually important that you're doing something that you're really interested in and also you feel like you can accomplish um, have significant findings. So, for example, for me, like when I moved from a postdoc um, working on colorectal cancer in Bert Vogelstein's lab um, and mitochondria and PVD3, I knew that I don't want to continue any of that. And um, I chose to study breast cancer because I felt like I can use the skills that I learned and apply it to a different problem that interested me more. And when I started as a faculty position, that's what I, I switched to and it worked out pretty well.